Hello, this is your girl, Annette, with the 2023 Wear Your Crown Empowerment Speaker Series. This series is created under my platform, Building Amicable Relations, in hopes of inspiring women and girls into their purpose. Today, we have another queen that is here to share what she does, why she does it, how you can find her, and how you can support what she's doing. Hello, Coach Tay. Hello, 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 hello. Um, thank you for having me. I appreciate um, any platform that allows me to speak awareness of what I'm doing and definitely uh, share to other people the ability of what you are capable of doing. So I greatly appreciate you bringing me on. That is awesome. And I'm super excited to have you. So if you like, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, um, I'll start with me. Um, my name is Shante Roan, uh, a girl from Wilmington, Delaware. For all my family there. I actually was born in Florence, South Carolina, but was raised all my life in Wilmington, Delaware. Um, straight off of 4th Street, west side of Wilmington. Um, product of teenage parents and just someone just trying to... Uh, paved the way for other people. Uh, it took a long time for me to learn my abilities and what I had and what I was able to do. And so my my platform allows me to teach other girls and guys, um, younger and young adults, that there there's possibilities out there. And no matter what your zip code is, no matter where your area code is, you are enough to become whatever it is you want to become. That is perfect because that is exactly what this platform is about, supporting our women and girls into their purpose. So would you like to share how you do that? Yes. So I am the founder of Hearts of Hope Safe Haven Incorporated, which is a nonprofit organization that is invested in restoring growth mindsets. Um, repainting the image of what they call products of the hood and um, just showing them where they see poverty, we see potential. And we do this by opening multiple different events, such as mainly our workshops. It's called Accepting Who I Am. We bring kids of different walks of avenue, teach them to embrace who they are, understand that just because you're here today, that doesn't determine where you're going tomorrow showing them that they have everything that they need to become exactly who it is that they want to become. We also sponsor the full experience to prom. So kids that struggle with uh, prom supplies, foster kids, we come in and we create a pop-up shop experience um, prom-wise where you go through, we get your hair done, your nails done, you shop your dresses, you shop your tux, you get your, your, your hair cuts, things like that. Um, we also sponsor kids going off to prom. So the average organization may give you like your, your going away boxes with your food and, and things like that. Well, um, being a product or being the kid that I am trying to fix, I know how it felt going off to college and not having anything. Um, I remember experiencing being in my dorm room and my roommate having this decorative room and here was mine bland and empty. And so because of these experiences, I created programs within my organization to help with that. And so we sponsor and we come in and decorate your dorm room. We turn your living space into yours. We make it feel as close to home as possible so that that transition of moving from home, foster care, um, different situations into becoming an adulthood and living on your own in a dorm room is making sure that's comfortable for you. Um, we do quite a few different things. Cause like I said, a lot of the programs created within my agency and organization was created off of my experiences that I experienced. We also sponsor your talents, gifts, and businesses that you're interested in starting. We do, um, our own version of Shark Tank, where the kids go through a program and actually learn how to put together their business um, or find ways to educate themselves in the talents and the gifts that they're looking to explore. And we invest in those. So 
and then start wow. the business. We're going to teach you how to throw a pitch and pitch in front of sponsors that's willing to help sponsor that uh, business. If it's a talent of dancing or modeling, we invest in that experience for you to have that. Um, that's the agency side of it. And then, of course, there's Coach Tag. I'm a licensed uh, life coach. I'm a degree social worker. And I provide coaching services and uh, mentor services. So I do mentor programs within my agency. That's where we do six-week programs. We bring you in. We teach you how to accept yourself, learn how to embrace who you are. Uh, we set goals, help you accomplish those just to see how it is to complete something. Um, uh, right now, Coach Tay is getting a lot of attention because I am a published and professional model. I've done a lot of runway coaching and model coaching for big name fashion shows such as High Point Fashion Week. I am the brand face and uh, runway coach for a youth designer. She's seven years old, um, tailor, um, tailor made by Taylor. She uh, creates her own designs and I'm her face of her brand and I do a lot of traveling with them. So I've done New York Fashion Week with them. Uh, I get to go to Paris with them this year. Uh, we go to Myrtle Beach this weekend for Myrtle Beach mm -hmm. Fashion Week. So a lot of my uh, attention has been brought in from my platform of modeling professionally and being a runway and model coach. Um, so I do a lot of coaching and I tell people a lot, it's not that I can coach modeling. It's not that I can coach singing. It's, I'm a confidence coach. I build confidence. I teach you. I show you what you already have. You know, yes. I, I help you realize that you already have what you needed. You just needed someone to show you that. Um, a lot of the times we get caught up in what's right in front of us and we can't see past that, right? We can't see past our current situations of being displaced or being uh, hungry or getting ready to age out of foster care or uh, abusive parents or drug addict parents. We can't see past that. And so if you don't know different, you can't do different. And we just allow that platform to be there to show you different, to show you that everything is possible. You just got to work for it. You know, um, my my dream as a child at four years old, I told my mom and my godmother, I'm going to be the first African-American woman president. <laughs> so that's what I told them. That's what I, before there was Obama, I, I told them, I was, I was gonna, I'm going to be the first woman, African-American woman president, and I'm going to change the world. And I tell my kids now, well, of course, Barack Obama beat me to being the first African-American <laughs> president, right? But I am the president and founder of my own agency. I am the founder. I am the president. And I spoke that. I told my mom at a very early age, I will become a president and I will change the world. I am a president of a nonprofit organization. And every day I fight to make a difference and change the world. I am a person who... I walk by what I preach. So if I want change, the only way to get change is to be the change. If I mm -hmm. want something different, the only way to make it different is by doing it. And so I live by that, just being the change that I want to see and starting with our kids. Our kids is what's going to take us further. And if I teach them early on their possibilities and their capabilities, then we have less life we have less yeah. children failing as an adult. And I think that's where we went wrong. A lot of adults don't believe that everything is possible. If they don't believe that it's possible, they're not teaching everything is possible. You know, right. we saw Barney growing up where imagination was promoted. Have your imagination live, dream, you know, um, but that's not being taught and it's not being pushed anymore. So because our adults don't believe it anymore, our children don't believe it anymore. So right. I'm just trying to be that person that bridge, uh, like, you know, fix that gap, you know, bridge that and fulfill that need that needs to be there because you really can. We had Donald Trump as a president. You literally can be whoever you want to be, you know. <laughs> so um, that's just what I live by. That's my goal. 
is to make sure that every child sees the potential. This dream and goal developed by opportunities that was presented for me. Uh, my school, I was actually, like I said, I was one of the kids that I'm trying to fix. My mom was 15 when she had me. She has five of us. I'm the oldest. Um, so a lot of things I couldn't do growing up. I missed out on a lot. And by the time I got to 11th grade, I wanted to go to my junior military ball and I couldn't afford it. Well, a team of my teachers and one of my friend's parents got together and they sponsored me. They sponsored that experience and they gave it the whole thing from my dress to my hair, to my nails, to my feet. And from there, they sponsored pictures. I went to Sears and got my pictures taken professionally and Sears asked my mom to use my pictures as a promotional ad in the mall. So I went from this kid in this town, because my mom moved me to Virginia out of nowhere, it's like unexpected. So I went from this girl who was new to this girl whose picture is up in the mall. And in a matter of moments, I went from being the poor kid to the kid that models. And just seeing how simply someone believing in me and trusting me enough to invest in me made opportunities for me. And here it is. I'm now getting ready to be 33 April 2nd. And I can say I'm accomplishing the dream that I had at 15 of being a model that I seen not possible. And I say that God is the artist of this painting. He just picked, uh, He's the visionary. And I'm the artist. He picked the painting. And I'm just making it all unfold. I feel like he plays in many, many ways. And it was like, oh, you wanted to be that child. You didn't see it being possible. Well, here I am now as an adult. When most people say, by the time you hit 30, you might as well hang up that modeling career. Well, I started it at 17. It stopped and then got picked back up at 30. I was 31 when they brought me back in. And so it was just like, oh, God, you're showing off. <laughs> I was jumping off. You said I needed a testimony. You said I needed the story. And here's the story. The 14-year-old, the 15-year-old Shante is looking at me now like, girl, you're doing what you said we would do. When all along, I didn't even think it was possible. I just learned that it was possible at 30. I just learned that it was possible at 31. And so because it took so long for me to realize it, I said, it's time to stop that that curse. It's time to stop that generational cycle and show other kids that's just like me that it's possible. Because a lot of the people that help nowadays ain't never experienced a struggle in their life. Most of the people that own the biggest nonprofit agencies that's supposed to help kids in poverty has never experienced an ounce of struggle a day in their life. Well, here you go. You got me, Coach Tay. And I label myself, my title is the unperfect coach, the perfectly flawed coach. My coaching service is called the perfectly flawed, flawed coaching service. Oh! You don't have to, be to be accomplished or successful. You don't have to be perfect to achieve your goals. You don't have to be, you don't have to have all the answers to make things possible. You just got to have the ability to find the answer. And as long as you're willing to learn, who can stop you? Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's very similar to be perfect in your imperfections. Yeah. That's why when you said it, I was like, oh, my God. Like, this is, like, perfectly <laughs> in line because that is. Look, and so is there an age limit for who you, who you coach or who you teach or who's in the programming? Okay, so Hearts of Hope Safe Haven, the agency works from ages six all the way up to 25, because that's the age is aging out of um, foster care. But my coaching services, actually, I don't have an age limit. I just, like I said, I'm a coach that can teach confidence. So if you got a three or a two year old who needs to know how to walk, I promise you, I can coach it, you know, because um, it's all about building the confidence in a person showing a person their self that they they have it. Like I'm just here to show you like you you had it all along. You had it all along. Like you just need someone to pull it out of you. And that's what I do. I, I 
I just invest in teaching people to accept who they are, accept where you've been, but understand that that doesn't determine where you're going. Yes. Oh my goodness. I did not know. I did not know. I'm super excited. I'm <laughs> super excited. So how do we find you? How do we stay connected with you? And how do we support? So we have hohsafehaven.com. That is our website. You can go on there and you can be a sponsor. We actually do a annual fashion fundraiser weekend where we put on a sneaker ball, Matt Gallus sneaker ball. We put on a two show fashion show slash talent show. We raise money and we look for sponsors to be a part of that. We also look for sponsors to sponsor. We call it our star tree instead of angel tree. Mm -hmm. We call it our star tree where you can sponsor the prom experience for kids um, <clears throat> or their dorm room moving their laptops, things like that. We have a agency that we're actually getting ready to partner with that's going to be providing our laptops for our graduates. So, um, yeah, just connecting with us on all our streaming platforms. Share, like, and comment. Hearts of Hope Safe Haven Incorporated on Facebook. HOH Safe Haven on um, Instagram, Twitter, we have a TikTok page. Yes. Oh. We, I love TikToks. You know, I'm a big dancer. So whenever I do any events with kids, we are going to break out a TikTok video. Um, it's, just, it's so much. Like, I know a lot of people will probably, if I list everything that we do, they was like, this lady wants to do it all. I know that people say there's so many other agencies that do some of the things you do but they're not Hearts of Hope Safe Haven. Hearts mm -hmm. of Hope Safe Haven is invested in being a one-stop shop. We polish the diamonds in the rough. Coal becomes diamonds. Okay? Now, you so, know that is a quote from my HBCU, Bethune Cookman College, Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune, a diamond in the rough. So, you know, I'm just feeling all of this. Yes, it's a diamond in a rug. Um, that's what we say. Hearts of Hope is the, the polishing process. All coal goes through a process. They got to be pressured through stress and they got to be, you know, um, <clears throat> polished. You know, you got to find that perfect diamond out of that coal. And that's what Hearts of Hope did. Yes. We are the, the polishing process. The struggles that the kids endure is with strengthening them. We just clean off the final touches. Okay, y'all heard Coach T. Make sure you go and check out the page. Everything is going to be below, but you have to check out the work she is doing with our kids. Oh my gosh. And you know, such a time this, all of these services are needed from the coaching to the empowering, supporting um, children where they are, letting them know that they are absolutely fabulous, as is because bullying is very serious. And some of our kids just don't know. Even some of the bullies, they, they don't know. Make sure you like, share, and follow Coach T. Make you go and child hearts of hope, safe, even eight. They have a plethora of them. And if you want to support, they have a link. It tells you how to support what your sponsorship is going towards. Oh my gosh, this is stuff that you can actually see. I am loving the queen box. Yes, uh, that is another fun factor to know. Anytime you sponsor a kid or sponsor experience, you are a part of the whole thing. We, we document it, we do videos, we do pictures in our sponsors. We don't do a lot of promoting of the kids a lot of the times because of their personal identity, but the sponsors and donors get to experience that. We do a yearly uh, yearbook, so you get access to that yearbook once you sponsor. Your business and your logo goes into that book if you donate and sponsor. So it's ways to promote. We also are located in North Carolina. I did not say that, but I do travel as Coach Tay. I do motivational speaking for youth all over, up and down the East Coast. I have came to do the Girls Can Do Anything conference in Wilmington, Delaware with Tandra Pitts. 
uh, amazing woman. Uh, I do a lot of different events. So if you need Coach Tay for any type of services, you can find my page at Coach Tay on Facebook and on Instagram as well. Okay, so I think I shared the, let me make sure, Coach Tay's Facebook page. And her Instagram, your Instagram is the same? Yeah, so we have Hearts of Hope Safe Haven, or the HOH Safe Haven, and then we have my page, which is Coach Tay, and then our fundraiser, um, our annual fundraiser that is Fashion Hills All. Oh, okay. So when when can we expect the fashion show? Is there a casting call that's going to happen? How do we how do we get access to the show? So we just did our casting, but we um, are taking virtual submissions and our fashion show is always in July. Our, it's a fashion weekend, um, Farmers Day weekend. It's always going to be in July. This year is July 14th through the 16th. We, like I said, we jump started off with a sneaker ball where we appreciate all the models, all the volunteers, all our designers. Everyone gets recognized in the sneaker ball. We pass nice. out awards, certificates, ceremony, different ceremonies because we had designers travel from Texas last year, Georgia. They come from all over the place. So um, we enjoy that. Then we do two shows. We do an adult show and we do a kid's show. And the kid's show showcases all kids. We have a kid host. We have a we have kid designers, kid talents. You get to see all of that, um, experience that. Our adult show, we turn up a little notch because our adult show is there to actually raise the money. Our kid show to show you that we are investing in the talent, but the adult show is what the entertainment comes from. We, we turn it up a notch. And this year's theme, I'm so excited because... Our shows are known for themes. Last year was Corella the Ville. And this year we are taking it old school with the Candyland board game. And so we are recreating the actual board game for our fashion show this year. So our designers and everything are being challenged to challenge the Candyland theme. So it's definitely going to be a a show to be at. I hope some of you all could travel. Like I said, it's in North Carolina. Uh, we have we do some events in Delaware. Where are you located? You are located in Delaware? Yes. Okay. So um we've done some of our events in Delaware because you can't never forget where you're from. Um, but because I came to college at Shaw University in North Carolina, that's where everything launched and took place. So our show is in North Carolina, so if you can travel, we would love to have anybody there. The support is amazing. It's definitely something to experience. That is so awesome. I'm super excited. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. Mind you, I didn't have an opportunity to check out your, your page um, prior to. And I, I think I don't I think Dana Wise recommended uh -huh. you. She was like, oh That's my gosh, my this is fabulous girl that's that's my girl hands that's down you know she spoke yeah. just before you did she was last week so you're going to be following up with her this week great and knocking <laughs> out the box again and she was like do you know her and i was like no she was like i'm gonna send you her information because she is doing fabulous things and i think you would love her and i absolutely do I love, love it. everything that you are doing. Oh my yes. gosh! And in North Carolina, North Carolina to Delaware, I do know Chandra Pitts. I do know the girls can do anything. Conference. I love that they reach a variety of girls and a variety of women come and volunteer for the program. So yes. I hope that your program continues to grow. That you get more and an overflow of sponsors this year. What you're doing is very necessary. Oh, my gosh. So, and, oh, my gosh. I'm like, oh, who should I connect her to in Delaware? Because there are some queens who definitely need to know what you're doing right now. Yes, yes, please. Um, I would love that connection. My cousin is actually um, Wayne. He does a lot of uh, Wayne Rome. 
he does a lot of the on the guys end. He does like football coaching. Um, he's with he be with Tanger Pitts. Uh, my my uncle is uh, up in the social work industry. Gregory Rome. Um, one of the highest. Oh, so it just runs in the family. And especially if y'all all have a heart like Dana, her, she speaks volumes. Like, all she so does is so into people. Oh my, yes, Dana is a special, my Aunt Dana is a very special case to me. So my brother is actually, my Aunt Dana's actual nephew. But uh, she embraced me when my mom and my um, her brother got married. And she embraced me and took me in and from there just loved on me so much. And so even though uh, the family's been separated, that is like the one connection that I have. And when I say the biggest supporter that I have on social media, like I like I can always count on my identity to like say something. Like if did nobody think I was killing it or doing good, <laughs> my identity thinks I am doing good. The, like, yes. so, so I appreciate her when she came to me and said, "I want you. You should do this interview." I was like, "Let's do it. Let's go." And then I was sitting there with me the link. I was like, "Oh my god, I look a mess today." And I was like, "You know what, God." You sent me this interview for a reason. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Look, you know why? Because my platform is really about meeting people where they are. And even though I have like three crowns, three titles, go on for another one, women and girls need to see that we are perfect in our imperfections. Regardless, I still have a crown on whether I'm wearing it or not. Okay. I got my natural hair or this wig on. Either way, I am a queen. I'm phenomenal, and so are you. So just exactly. know, however you're presenting, we are seeing your queendom, and we want you to continue to grow with us. Yes, yes. And when I need to get you tapped in and wrapped in um, with the uh, pageantry down here. We have, um, uh, there's a lady named Portia. She's amazing. She's actually over the Miss Full Figure pageant in North Carolina, but the pageantry industry down here is amazing, so... I would love to connect you with those people too to get you going and traveling up and down the Girl, East Coast. Look, too. don't get me started. Miss Full Figure, um, Pennsylvania, their pageant is coming up soon, and I'm going to be present. So let me find out. There's one in North Carolina too. There's one yes. in North Carolina, and the lady over the North Carolina one is over the Virginia one too. Is that Crystal? No, it's I uh, heard it's per, um, Perugia. Is her name now? Okay. That's who's over it now. Yep. Well, mm -hmm. I'm excited. I definitely support body positivity, plus size women, and oh, yes. Coach Tay, and all of her coaching and and yes. the hope that she has given to our youth and our women and girls. Chia, make sure you check out her information. It is below. Is there anything you want to say to close us out? To lock them in. Is there a cash app, a Venmo, a saying yes. that you use? Yes. yes. You can cash app any donations. No donations is not enough. Um, that's cash. Um, the cash sign, H-O-H, safe haven. And our tagline is where they see poverty, we see potential. There's no youth left out. And we live by that. So together, we can do anything. So let's make a difference in the world. I love that. And that was perfect, perfect way to end our segment. Thank you so much for joining me for our 2023 Wear Your Crown Empowerment Speaker Series. Until the next time. Thank you, Ben.